Hi, I'm Stephanie Talon. I'm Zach Jacobs. Welcome to week three of our weekly General Assembly video updates. First, I want to start off by talking about Legislative Day. Our Legislative Day was Monday, and Zach, I have to say, I think it was one of our most successful yet in terms of both member engagement and legislator engagement. We continue to hear such positive things from legislators about getting to see all of our members. They really enjoyed the visits. We had 154 Farm Bureau members coming down to the Capitol to speak with legislators representing 50 counties across the Commonwealth, which was just absolutely fantastic to see. It always makes it more fun for me when we're walking around the halls and we see folks we know from back home. I think it's, it's fantastic, such a great time. So thank you so much to everyone who joined us. Um, I also want to give a very special thank you to Scott Sink and Heathwood Market for catering our legislator our meal for our legislators on Monday as well. As we mentioned, we provide a Virginia-grown lunch to legislators to remind them of the importance of Virginia-grown products. And we did cheeseburgers this year, and again, I think that was one of the most popular meals. I mean, who doesn't love a cheeseburger? And so, fantastic work to Scott for doing that. We really appreciate that. Also, thank you to the to the Women's Leadership Committee and the Young Farmers Committee for being out there for serving the meal. The rain did hold off, which was fantastic. I'm thrilled about that and so overall a very successful day so thank you to everyone who was involved successful logistically and then also Zach I think very successful from a bill from a legislative standpoint as well so we had several fact sheets that we presented with our members um, during legislative day and some of those the issues that were discussed actually had very positive action I think as a direct result of some of those conversations our members had with legislators so Zach I know you worked on a couple can you tell us about those yeah, you know, honestly, the only thing that these legislators loved uh, more than the, the burgers was having their constituents in their offices this week. And, and the, the constituent piece of, of advocating is, is really important. And we saw that success this week with um, Delegate Jeff Campbell's um, aerial application bill. And, you know, originally the, the delegate was planning on, on producing the, or, or promoting that uh, bill at the subcommittee this week. Uh, but after his constituents came and met with him and, and, and talked to him about the implications that that would have on the agriculture industry, uh, the, the delegate himself chose to, to not move forward with that bill, um, which was a, a huge win for us. Uh, some other wins, we, we've had a farm use move. Uh, our farm use uh, vehicle uh, bills move this week um, out, of the, out of the house. And so uh, we are, are on to the next step of the process in, in terms of getting a, a formal uh, farm use placard uh, application and, and pro program uh, put together for, for our members and, and farmers across the Commonwealth. So it it's really has been a, a successful, busy week, but mm -hmm. uh, we, we were really glad to, to start that off with uh, our legislative day. Fantastic. And a couple I want to mention that were also discussed at Legislative Day that did see some action this week, um, both by Delegate Michael Weber, House Bill 1486 would clarify and expand the list of uh, farm machinery and implements that are eligible for localities to exempt from personal property taxes, including hoop houses and nursery stock items. Um, this was one of our top 10 fact sheets that we talked about as le at Legislative Day, um, and that bill did pass the House Finance Committee. We supported that bill, which is fantastic. Another bill we talked about last week is House Bill 1485, again, also by Delegate Michael Weber. Uh, this is our WIP bill to extend the deadline for mandatory uh, stream exclusion practices and nutrient management plans for farmers in the Chesapeake Bay watershed shed until 2030. Strongly supporting this bill. Again, another one I think our members went around quite frequently and talked about. Um, that one did pass the full House of Delegates this week, and so we're seeing a, a lot of good movement there. There is a Senate patron bill um, as well. Um, that one will be held, will be heard on this coming Tuesday in the Senate Agriculture Committee. Um, that one I think is going to be a very close vote. And so I want to tell everyone to keep an eye out for an action alert. We may be sending out an action alert for you all to respond to, uh, to contact your legislators and let you know, let them know how you feel about this issue. So again, keep your eye out on your phones if you're signed up for action alert, on your email if you get them that way. If you're not signed up for action alerts, now's the time to reach out to a member of government relations staff to make sure you get signed up for that before potential action alert goes out next week or even more so in the future. Switching gears a little bit here, Zach, you're no longer the newest kid on the block in the government relations team. Uh, we have a, our newest member of the team is Caitlin Jordan. She's our legislative specialist and she started January 3rd. So I wanted to take this opportunity to introduce Caitlin to everyone out there. Caitlin, it's so great to have you. You know, you've jumped right in with General Assembly, hit the ground running, been such a huge help. And so why don't you tell our members a little bit about yourself? Stephanie, thank you for the great introduction. My name is Caitlin Jordan. I so enjoyed meeting some of our members at the Legislative Day this past week. I'm from Virginia Beach, a place called Pungo, five minutes from the beach, five minutes from the farms. I went to Randolph-Macon, majored in political science, minored in Spanish and communication studies, and I'm so excited to jump right in with issues like land use, 
local government authority issues, rural health, taxes, and maybe eventually even environmental issues. So thank you for the warm welcome. The entire team has been great, and I'm just happy to jump right in. So great. Thank you, Caitlin. And thank you all for following along with us. We'll see you next week.